June 2009, the 65th anniversary of D-Day. The Normandy Veterans Association returned to France for a final reunion before the ranks of vets diminished any further. We were accompanied by four students from Waverley Secondary College, two grandchildren of a Normandy vet, who were at that time residing in France. It was an experience that resonated for all of us. In Bayeux, we ran into His Royal Highness Prince Charles. He spoke to us. Where are you from, Bob? Morbach, sir, I replied. He asked if I'd suffered the Black Saturday bushfires. Although I'd seen the smoke from Yarra Glen, thankfully the answer was no. After this chat with royalty, we assembled in the narrow streets of Aramore Schleebanes. It was surreal, as if we had never left. The years melted away. It was as if we had been transported back 65 years. Like our memories, our comradeship was alive and well. Normandy had all changed from what we had previously been subjected to. When its people were in trouble, back then we had not been popular as we had destroyed their villages, their homes and way of life. Yet now they were showing their gratitude, thanking us for freedom. We all moved aside for the French President's convoy of BMWs. Suddenly, the rain poured down. But with all the determination we had shown in the original landing, we carried on. We witnessed a double flyover by two Spitfires and a Lancaster bomber. Through the rain and under heavy cloud, there was tremendous ovation from everyone. Over that week, we conducted a number of services for the fallen on the beaches. It was emotional. It is only with the passage of time that I have found it all easier to cope with these memories. French, Belgium and Dutch onlookers came up to us and gave us a pat on the back. In their own language, they thanked us for our original effort 65 years ago. Again, I realised they were thanking us for their freedom. <laughs>